Today I'm going to mod this 3DO for RGB and to do that I need to install this RGB mod board. Um, this is a board, one of several new RGB mod boards available in the market for various consoles. The other couple being this one from Vile Tim, a fellow Australian. This is his NES RGB board. A few of you out there have probably heard of that one. And there's this other little board here. This is for the Nintendo 64. As some of you may know, the early Japanese Nintendo 64s need a RGB amp mod to get RGB out of them, but the other 64s can't be modded. Well, this board here should take care of, uh, of all models of 64, I believe. Uh, I've noticed that on this 3DO RGB mod board that all the chips have had their um, had the details, their, their numbering uh, removed from the surface. So I guess the manufacturer of this board doesn't want any people copying the board. Time will tell on that one, I suppose. Anyhow, I'll crack this 3DO open and get into modding it. I've just done this 3DO RGB mod. You can see the workbench is pretty messed up. I'm in the middle of doing a NES RGB job and I've got that PPU out and amongst other things, but this video is about the 3DO. So I've, I've got it working, but I haven't um, rebuilt the 3DO. I haven't put it back together. I just wanted to test and see if it worked, which it does, but there's the mod board that I showed before and there's a lot of wires in this job. There's 32 that I've soldered up here and there's um, another four you can optionally do if you want to incorporate sound and 5 volts into your SCART plug but I don't need to do that. So there's the mod board. Uh, I've color coded the, the wires there. You can see there's red, green and blue on the top of the board there. Um, they all go to the little via hole, the via via, I don't know how you pronounce it there. It's uh, some pretty fine soldering to get all those soldered in but um, they take the red, the green and the blue information from the 3DO and go to the mod board then the mod board outputs your analog RGB here and I've got that um, those wires in a DIN, a DIN socket there and from there I've got the SCART cable going into that Commodore monitor um, some other wires for the job include um, there's a 9 volts to power the board you can follow that up and see that it connects into that ribbon cable connector, ground and 9 volts and also over here on this chip you uh, find horizontal sync and vertical sync and again they go back to, to the mod board for it to do its job so I'll just uh, I'll throw a game in and we'll, we'll see how it performs alright so I'll put a game in now and we'll see how it goes this is Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo uh, you have to bear with me here a bit because the console's open and this CD drive has a couple of plastic pegs hold it all together which I haven't put back in yet but so I've got to hold hold it all together manually. There's the 3DO logo, the boot up logo there. Now this is the first time I've seen this in RGB, this console, and I haven't seen any progressive displayed images yet. They're all interlaced. I don't know what the 3DO does there, but... By the look of it, the RGB looks quite good. The colours are nice. There's no complaints whatsoever. Colours are great. I'll just show you one more thing before I go. This might crash the game. But on this mod board here, I'll have to get an image on the screen first. On this mod board there's a little trim pot which you can adjust the picture horizontally. It's centered fairly well right now but when I first turned the console on the centering was way off and um, 
the colors were messed up and the image was too far to the left and I thought oh, I haven't installed the, the mod correctly or why I was wrong or something but that's not the case it's simply just a matter of adjusting to get your picture center and there you go it's all good and proper again so that's pretty much the RGB mod for the for the 3DO seems pretty good on um, the next video I might do the Nintendo 64 or the NES with the new RGB mods that are out now. So anyhow, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.